Hi everyone, thank you for joining in. So today guys, I'm gonna be making for you all some smoked herring wontons. Now, in yesterday's video, I did the saltfish version to this. So today I'm gonna be doing the smoked herring version. Could you all just give me like two minutes, let me just sort something out and then we'll start preparing the smoked herring wontons. Hi Rihanna, hi Jamal, hi Kevin, hi Himrisha. I hope I didn't spoil that name. Thank you guys so much for joining. Hi Alia. Oh, great. So I'm excited that you've been waiting for this recipe. Hi Shivani. Okay, so let's get started. I'm gonna put up my pot on medium heat we want the pot to heat up i already put my oil in there the pot is already warm i was actually waiting on you guys and i took it off if you guys have any questions or we want to talk in the meantime we can we can do that hi michelle hi giselle oh that's nice that you and the baby are watching is it a boy or a girl hi Kristen. hi jamal jamal i'm already anxious oh Jamal is already anxious to try this. <laughs> Natasha said it really has. Thank you, Alia, so much. That means a lot to me. Hi, baby. Oh, so it's a boy. And I have a boy also, so that's really nice. Hi, Usha. Thank you, Kristen. Hello, Sandrini. How are you? So, do you guys have any questions for me concerning the saltfish recipe or any other recipes that I've posted recently? And are you guys liking the Mother's Day recipes that I've been posting? Hi, Avatar. Hi, Giselle. Hi, Narissa. Hi, Mary. Hi, Sunil. Okay, so Sandrini is excited for this recipe. Okay, that's really good. Okay, so now let's get into the recipe. So to the hot oil, I'm going to go in with some finely chopped onions and peppers. I'm just going to let this sort in here for a little. And I'm using habanero pepper but if you wanted to use a pimento pepper in here you can do that and you want to make sure everything is finely chopped because it is going into the wonton hi Hazra hi Nikisha happy Sunday to you Happy Sunday to everyone that's watching. And thank you all for taking time out of your relaxing Sunday to look at my live. So I'm going to go in now after the onion and the pepper sauté for a little. I'm going to go in with the smoked heron. And I already boiled, washed and flaked the smoked heron. And you'd want to make sure and take out as much of the bones as you can. I'm trying to mash it up with a spoon also so that it gets a little finer. Hi Blossom. Um, the cream cheese, you can put as much or as little as you want. I suggest don't put in too much. Um, if you've ever had crab rangoon, um, it's basically like that. Just this is made with smoked heron. So now I'm going to go in with some finely shredded carrots and some finely chopped sweet peppers. I 
Now I still want to maintain the crunch and the vegetables, so I'm not gonna let this cook too long. Now I'll need to taste this for salt. The smoker and has salt, so I'm gonna wait a little and then I'll taste it and adjust the salt. Hi Michelle, you need to try the oil long recipe, it's really good. And if you put spinach or dashing bush bhaji in there, it's even better. Hi Lynette, thank you so much. Okay, so I'm gonna take this off now because I wanna maintain that crunch as I said. And we also need to cool this down before we add the cream cheese. So I'm gonna taste this. Okay, it has enough salt. I'm just going to set this aside and allow it to cool down. Actually, let me empty it in a bowl. It will help cool down faster if I put it into a bowl. So guys, do you have any questions for me? You guys want to talk about anything? Are we going to keep it food related, please? Nothing political. Okay, so I just need this to cool down. You see, it's very, very hot. It has to cool down before I put that cream cheese in there as it's just going to melt and it's gonna get very soft. So let's chat in the meantime while I'm waiting for this to cool down, let's chat. So I'm just gonna move around a couple of things so that I can change the camera position. Guys, doing a live, it is not easy, especially if you're doing a live cooking demo and you're doing it by yourself. It's very, very difficult. So I'm going to move the camera now and I'm going to try not to let it fall like last week because that was horrible last week. So let me see all the questions that I've missed. Okay, let me see. Try not to let it fall this time. So let's see. Okay, so with Michelle, I'm gonna try the oil dung recipe. Lynette said she loves my recipes. Will putting the smoked herring in the food processor help or would it turn out too fine? You can put it in the food processor. That's not a problem at all if you want it to be finer. Um, so Lynette, hello to you and your girls. It's hard to do roti dough. Roti is something you have to practice and you have to really knead that flour until it gets really smooth. That's the best way to get the a really soft nice roti the herring is probably high scented when you fry it up yes it's a very high scented it could smell like the whole house will smell like smoke herring now hi sharon hajra i all i am always looking for a dessert sweet cuckoo so guys i've heard about this dessert sweet cuckoo no i do not have one on my channel but if you guys have a recipe and you would like to share it with me, please feel free. You can email me at natashaskitchen19 at gmail.com or you can send it via Instagram at trinicooking19. Now, someone promised me this recipe like a couple months ago, but I didn't hear back from the person, but I'm looking into it. I'm testing out a few recipes, but if you guys have an idea, that would be really grateful. Okay. So short stuff said I've tried to do roti and I got some success, but still as not as still as not as nice as commercially made. It takes time and commercially made, they have so much practice that you have just have to keep practicing. If you keep practicing, you'll you'll definitely get it. Hi Khalil. Um I'm fine, thank you. Thank you so much. Thank you so much for watching. 
Blossom says, the spinach pies that you made recently for the pastry, I noticed you didn't use lime juice like other recipes. Is lime juice necessary? I personally don't think lime juice is necessary, but if it is something that you want to try or you think it helps you in your pastry dough, then by all means, you can use that. Hi, Short Stuff from Canada. Giselle asks, can you do cordon blue? My husband has been asking me to do that, so I have to do that recipe for you guys. Um, Kristen says, I nailed my first try making roti watching your video. Oh, thank you so much. Hi, Trini Flavors with Anna. How are you today? Trini Flavors with Anna is another YouTube channel, so you guys need to go check her channel out and subscribe to her. She also does a lot of Trini cooking, home cooked foods. So what else would you like you guys like to talk about? Let me just check the smoked heron. It's cooling down. In the meantime, I should put up the oil to heat up. So let me do that really quickly. I'm gonna just be right here, but you all can hear me. And I can I can still see your comments. So I'm just going to put the oil to heat up on medium heat. Okay, so Sharon, my training husband, tells me all his training friends. Oh, oh, thank you, Sharon. Tell your husband I said thank you for telling, for spreading my name and spreading my brand. Do you guys like my new logos, the new logos that I've created? And also... Remember, I'll be at the Best Fest on uh, in July. They haven't announced the date as yet, but I want to believe it's going to be the first week weekend. It's, it will be the first weekend in July. So please come out, come support. Narissa said, I tried your Chinese style fried chicken last week. It was fabulous. Thank you for trying it. Can you do healthy meal prep recipes. Shivana, I'm working on that. I really, it's one of my things that I'm working on. You guys remember I'm a mom, I'm a wife, I do YouTube, and I have other activities besides my own activities at home. So I'm like so swamped, like I'm like, I think I may just do two lives a month because I have so many things going on that I don't have time to do a lot. So Khalil asks, could you put cheese with the spinach in the spinach pies? Yes, Khalil, I did mention that in the video. If you wanted to put feta, feta cheese or ricotta, you can. So and it tastes even better with the cheese. So I'm just going to move back the camera so we can work on filling our wontons. And try not to let the camera fall again, right? Okay, so you guys can see. So here I have, you guys see that? See those, those beautiful colors? Can you see how vibrant this looks? So to this, I'm gonna go in with my softened cream cheese and I'm using full fat cream cheese. You can use a low fat cream cheese if you like. So, Oh, Khalil, I've never had the um, baji pies from the school box lunches. I would love to let my family help with my live. Um, no, they're not going to help me with my live. <laughs> I, as I said, you guys don't know me. I have been doing YouTube for more than two years. And I'm still shy in front of my husband, like... I don't know I'm just very very shy in front of him so I'm just mixing in the cream cheese and I just have like two ounces of cream cheese here not a whole lot oh Khalil that's nice um I've never had a I, when they had school lunches in school, I would be one of the kids to want to taste everything. Sometimes I was lucky to get, um, but it was for the less fortunate. So I wasn't able to try everything, but that wasn't on the menu. I don't remember that being on the menu. Okay, guys, I'm going to read some comments really quickly. Last night, I replicated your doubles recipe. 
where you fused the first two attempts in one. Um, no one was home and I made it. It was so good. Oh, that's really good, Joelle. I'm really happy to hear that. Um, Natasha says, my daughter and I enjoy all of your recipes. We made a bus up shot with milk today. Did you like the bus up shot with milk? Okay, so let's get moving on to filling these because I'm trying not to go too long with my life. So you're going to take your wonton skins. Just going to lower the heat a little bit on the oil. So you're going to take your wonton skins and you're going to need some water. You're going to take a little bit of the filling and place it in the center. So that is not water. <laughs> that was a cream cheese bowl. This is the water. Take a little bit of the water. That's what happens when you go live. And you're going to close the seal. Wet one end here. So I just bent this side over, now that end. And you're going to bring the other two together and squeeze to seal. So you see that's a, as easy as it is to make a wonton. So I'm going to continue wrapping the rest. And if you guys have any questions while I'm wrapping these, in the meantime, I'll answer your questions. Or we can talk about um, other recipes. Or do you guys have any requests for recipes? I've been getting so many requests lately. So I'm trying to do as much as I can for you guys. Now with this filling, if you wanted to store it in your freezer, if you have extras, you can do that. And you can always whip up another batch of this whenever you feel like eating smoked herring wontons. I'm trying to see if I can do these lies for you guys. But if I don't have a babysitter or someone to watch the baby, it's really difficult because he wants to be in the videos and I'm not going to put him out there. There are too many crazy people. I'm not saying you guys are crazy, but you know, you never know. And I don't want my baby's face to be out there because they can attack you for no reason. So Blossom tried the cheesecake recipe recently and it turned out great you, if you um if you think that well my to be honest blossom my cream cheese was not a very thick um cream um cheesecake sorry the cheesecake was not thick cheesecake it's a very thin cheesecake that i made but if you want to so guys, we got cut off at some point and I'm not sure where we got cut off. So if someone can just leave me a message saying where we got cut off, I will be very grateful. I'm still wrapping these ones on. So I've ha I have a few wrapped. What I'm going to do now is set this mixture aside so we can start frying these and then I can move on back to seeing all the questions that you guys have sent. So let me just place this one side. And let me just put the camera onto the frying pan so you guys can see. Right. Yes, I did go offline. Does someone know um, what or where the video was cut short? So here I have my oil heating up. I'm going to drop in the wontons. And they're not going to take very long to cook because the filling is cooked already and the wonton skins are very thin. So you just want to cook them until they're golden brown. I'll get to your questions in a little bit once I finish here.
I wish when I speak to you that you can speak back. I really wish that was an option with YouTube. So I'm going to try to see what questions or what we were speaking about. Khalil asks, do a recipe for bygone pie. Oh yes, Khalil. Great idea. Bygone pie. My mom was an awesome. My mom has an awesome and simple recipe too. So Khalil, would you like to share that recipe with me? You can either send it via Instagram at trinicooking19 or you can email it to me at natashaskitchen19 at gmail.com. Anyone that wants to share their family's recipes, I'm always open to that. I've, I have a couple of people that shared recipes with me in the past. One of them being Alice Matura. And uh, there's this other girl. I, I can't remember her name right now. But she shared the biscuit cakes recipe with me. And I always give you guys credit when you share something. I don't like to take anyone's recipe and call it my own. So these are finished. I'm just going to take these out. Alice Matura actually does some really great recipes. She filmed herself making the chocolate cake. It was a zebra cake actually. And she used her chocolate cake recipe with my orange sponge cake recipe. And she did a video and I posted that to my channel. So Narissa, what can I use as a good dipping sauce for these wontons? You can use, I like pepper sauce with it because I just love pepper. Um, there's tamarind sauce, there's a sweet chili sauce. Cheryl, I tried your spicy wings and it was awesome. Um, Cheryl, you can tag me on Instagram at trinicooking19. Short stuff, you're a smart woman about the baby, yes. Because there are crazy people out there, you never know. Um, Blossom, sorry I missed what you about the... All right, so I guess that's where we missed. So let me just move the camera one more time so you guys can see me and I can answer some of your questions. So I just need to check to see what the questions were. Blossom, I was saying that my cheesecake recipe, it's a very, it's a recipe for a tin cheesecake that would just fit into that graham cracker crust. If you wanted a thicker cheesecake, you'll need to triple the recipe. Hi Kempo. Thank you so much. So Blossom, if you heard that, just send, send a message so I know you got it. How to prevent the filling from spilling out of the oil? Um, are you talking about the filling in the wontons? Because you just have to make sure that it's sealed properly. So when you put that water, squeeze it really well to make sure that it's sealed properly. So Marie, hi Natasha, your recipes always look scrumptious, thank you. I try, sometimes guys, I try things and I fail. I'm not ashamed to say it, so I'll just keep trying until I get it. Khalil, don't forget, send that recipe, let me share it with you guys, with, with everyone. Um, so I'm going to wait for these wontons to cool down. You're welcome, baby. And once it cools down, I'll taste it. I'm not going to stay long on my live because it did take some time and no one likes to watch a long live. We're already 26 minutes into the live. Hi, Kizzy. Oh, thank you so much. Um, so, um, Kalila, yes, sir. Yes, I will. What's your email again? So my email is Natasha, with an S, Natasha's kitchen 19 at gmail.com and if you watch on the banner on youtube you'll see my my email right there on the banner hi sandrin do i have a yes i i have a jam tart recipe that was made from scratch so you guys just need when you're searching on my channel for something search using the word trini and then the name of the recipe that you're looking for. It tends to pull up the recipes faster rather than just typing the recipe alone. So let's taste the wontons. It's still pretty warm. Oh, it's hot. Mm. <laughs> it's really good. Not too much cream cheese. 
It tastes like smoke herring bowl jol. And the cream cheese is just the right amount in here. It's really, really delicious. So, <laughs> I know, right, baby? So, Khalil asks, where did I learn to cook? So, guys, when I was going to school, we had home ec. And that's where my love for cooking and food, that's where it came from. And then I would come home and try to cook. And I would make a hot mess. And um, I remember the first thing I made was stew chicken soup. And uh, the sugar got burnt really, really bad. And my mom was like, you made it, you have to eat it. So Kempo is asking, can you do a very easy bread recipe? Kempo, did you try my white loaf bread? It's a very easy recipe. It's, and it comes out so perfect. Melanie, hi Natasha. I tried your homemade pizza and it came out good. Thank you so much for trying it. And I'm glad that you like it. Mm. Hemrisha says, I could imagine I would try it. <laughs> Sounds like my stuff. Oh, Marie, we all make mistakes in cooking when we now start. So I just tell you guys, don't be afraid to try anything new. And if you fail, just keep trying. So I hope you guys enjoyed today's recipe for these wontons. I'm going to enjoy mine's off camera. They taste really delicious. I, I really want you guys to give this a try. Khalil, you love cooking also. Would you consider doing a YouTube channel? If you love cooking, you should share your passion. So guys, thank you all so much for watching thank you for joining me thank you for taking time out of your day to join me on my live i appreciate every one of you that watched and for those of you who are watching this video after it's uploaded thank you all so much for your support so zyda says don't burn the wild meat like me <laughs> i don't cook wild meat zyda so guys thank you and have a good sunday bye